in the Grand Prix rankings that he actually uh, qualified. And then he came through against uh, Yang Yang, the world champion, and uh, the undisputed favorite for this tournament. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit uh, about Ms. Bun as we go through, but uh, his first round match was against Torben Castle of uh, Denmark. He beat him in straight, uh, straight games, 15-8, 15-8. And that match against uh, Yang Yang was in three. Now, let's just uh, go over to his opponent, Xiong Guobao who now is carrying the banner for China because with Yang Yang being defeated by Ms. Bun and Zhao Jianhua, the world ranked number two, pulling out on the second day with a muscle spasm in his back. It's an old recurring injury that he has. Uh, he's had to withdraw. The hopes of China are on Zhang Guobao's shoulders. And uh, he played a superb match yesterday to defeat Ichuk Sugiyata of Indonesia in uh, straight games 15-5, 15-8. Now, sharing the commentary with me today, Craig Reedy, all the way from Glasgow, uh, former president of the International Badminton Federation. We've had quite a few surprises, Craig. Yes, it must be a long time since the top four seats in any major badminton event all went out. Yang Yang, as you say, Brian, very much the favorite world champion from Beijing in the World Championships held there in May, uh, complaining a little bit before the event that he was overplayed and a little tired. But this is a very worthy uh, successor that he has here, Zhang Gobao. I, I saw him in Jakarta in the 1986 Thomas Cup, where he won an absolutely vital singles match against M. Sui King. In fact, you could argue that that was the match that took the Thomas Cup to China. So I think we're in for a real treat this afternoon. Uh, because Misbun, a uh, fine player, but a mercurial player, a man whose form is in and out. Exactly. I, I think uh, Hong Kong viewers will remember Xiong Guobao as being the winner of our Hong Kong Open here back in April. And he's also won the Japan Open this year. So Xiong Guobao, a worthy replacement for his two fine compatriots. A quick word on the Grand Prix badminton finals itself. This is the the culmination of a really hard and grueling year for the players. 18 championships all, all told, national championships and the world championships. And uh, a bit like the tennis Grand Prix idea, players earn not only cash prizes for their success, they also earn Grand Prix points, and those points are totaled up at the end of the year for sort of an extra bonus system, and it's something that's working very well. Yes, it, se it seems to be. The uh, European players in particular uh, think that the Grand Prix series and the Grand Prix format is the basis that the game should be developed on. Uh, I think this is rather less popular in one or two of the uh, major Asian countries like China and Indonesia. Uh, although I have to say that if you look at the distribution of prizes, Ladies and gentlemen, it's amazing how much goes This is a semi silo of men's single. On my left, the first state of Malaysia. On my right, Zhong Guoba of China. Page ready. First team, left service first. Double, play. So, Ms. Bourne gets underway the first semi-final of this World Grand Prix Badminton final and uh, his error at the net finding uh, sympathetic Chinese applause for his opponent. Beautiful cross-court. Now, there's something that uh, Ms. Bourne was very vulnerable in his match yesterday against uh, Ib Fredrickson in his first game. He was a little bit tentative and he pushed so many of those cross courts wide and it's uh, very encouraging to see him getting that first one in. I think you'll find that John Gobo will try to play this game slowly. Be in control, lots of clears, lots of drops. The faster the rallies, the better the chance that Ms. Boone has. As he was saying yesterday, John Robau, that uh, he didn't feel that his smashes were, were that penetrative and against a player like Sugiato uh, that he had to rely on his good defence.
Two, by that time. One. So the first point on the board for Tiong Guo Bao. just a little bit uh, long by Sidek, who told me earlier that there is a slight drift in this hall uh, going away from us as we look. So he was probably pushing that a bit too hard up into the drift. Yes, the Chinese has started in exactly the right fashion. He's playing safe, clears to the back of the court, tight net shots, letting the mistakes come from the Malaysians. You said, Craig, that uh, Misbun was a mercurial player. He's capable of some fantastic badminton, but then he uh, puts together a few, a few errors, and he is prone to nervousness. Yes, that's the story of his career. Uh... One of these vastly talented people with so many shots that he can play that sometimes I think that he can't quite get it in the right order. Just play them in the right order. Service back, love three, best of three games. Just game to 15 points. Three, and right in the corner, called in by both line jumps. saying that he's going to have to try and relax in this first game and go for his shots. It's no good uh, playing tentatively. He lost that first game yesterday in the match against Fredrickson I was telling you about. And then uh, loosened up, he took the second, which guaranteed him a place today in the semi-finals. And then in the third game, he really let loose and played some superb stuff. And that's, uh, as far as the contest is concerned, I hope that's what we get today. Love, five. Oh. Five. Was, love. We see it again. You may say that he doesn't hit it very hard, but he was very effective there. Don't go back. semi-finals the court turned the other way around earlier matches played in this beautiful Queen Elizabeth Stadium oh. on two courts. and you had a good shot there from uh, our low angle camera of just the direction that uh, Guobao was aiming and uh, where he achieved his success Must have been practicing a bit with his two brothers, famous doubles combination. That was a shot that you often see in top class men's doubles. Three, 
1-5. So, the first success for Misbun. First point on the board. Two, well, Judge, he five. looked ner nervously at the line judge there, but it was uh, a couple of inches wide. Well, Ms. Bond. Five. Yes, he's just found his length. Four. Four. Five. Umpire calls a fault on the receiver for moving before the service was struck. And that's the first time I've seen that in this tournament. Five, four. Didn't seem to upset him. Judged that high clear perfectly. Just out. Turned his wrist on that, Sidek, and it looked as though he had Zhang Guobao going Five, the wrong way, but uh, found the net. Shot from Miss Boone. Four, six. Now let's see the effect of that. That's the kind of rally that Miss Boone likes to play, frequently wins. Xiong looking a little bit tentative there. His court coverage yesterday was far better than uh, it is at the moment. Of course, he's getting different shots coming at him. Marvellously athletic and agile player, Xiong Mubao. Perhaps nerves creeping a little bit uh, with him as well. Oh. Oh. Well, he must be conscious that he's carrying all China's hopes. This match going live to China later, well, not this match, the, the tournament going live this evening at the finals tomorrow to China. Of course, uh, very big audience for him. slow-mo, the next point about to start, but that's the first error on judgment that uh, John has made. that rally with two marvellous uh, returns but uh, finally pushed it wide yes yeah, a good example of why we use the word mercurial finds his length plays half a dozen splendid shots 
and then a very loose one to you lose the point. And again, an unforced error, but this time up the forehand corner. empty seats as you can see in the stadium people are still coming in it's a good job it's not a ballet they'd have to wait till the end of the game even the line for that both players are perspiring freely yes we've got room for a few more but it's a very nice stadium ideal for the sport full house tomorrow yes, full house tonight and, uh, about coming in very quickly, seeing his opportunity to attack from close to the net. 8-6. Six. 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 Yes, the one thing you mustn't do with Miss Burn is leave it up in the uh, short of a length to him. He's got a whole range of attacking shots. Beautiful. Seven, one cross court, one straight, both very steep. You see where that shuttle landed? Just past the service line. Hey, oh. I think Zong go, go by just a little confused there. Misman's clear wasn't quite as deep as he thought it was. Nine, and he goes into the lead for the first time in the match. First reception on that shot and a clean fist from Sidney. Uh, wouldn't this be a nice moment for him to put a few points on the board? First of 15, remember. retrieve that shot uh, from between his knees. I don't know from uh, Zhong Bao Bao, but he finally pushed it a bit long. Nine, Proving that he can defend as well, but that wasn't quite such a good one there. shots that you leave confidently but you hope that it's out as the game wear wears on and the limbs get a bit more tired you hope just a bit more than uh, use your judgment I think oh. a very subtle drop from the back of the court Ms. Bunt service goes back to Tiong Bao. these two have met three times in all. Nine, ten. Uh, 
Lisbon has the edge 2-1. The last meeting was a couple of years ago in the Malaysian Open, which Lisbon won. Well, I should lose on home territory there. And they'll both be thinking of the Thomas Cup finals to be played in Kuala Lumpur. China, of course, the holders. Malaysia, the hosts. These two might well be in opposition again. Pace of the game just slowing down for a moment, I think. Both of them have been working pretty hard, both taking a breather. We were just discussing the rules on uh, taking breaks. Play must be continuous, Craig, okay. but uh, a little bit of leeway is, is given by the umpire. Yes, law, law 18. Play. Law 18, play shall be continuous. Interested spectators there. Okay. John Gobao just cleaning a wet spot on the court. Should have been a put away, I thought. Yes, he just reached it, and was put, but his night shot was very tight. Great play from this one again. Difference between the two players when Lisbon gets a chance at the net, he normally puts it away. John Gobao, perhaps just a little bit more defensive in his attitude. I think that was one of those more in hope than uh, in judgment. set up by that cross court to Jong's backhand. 13-9. So Ms. Bun gets the service back. Two, two points from this first game. What a misjudgment there from Jong Wo Bao. Second one this, this game. Yes, when you get this close to game point, if in doubt, hit it. Serves high. He, had, he was standing on the line, he followed it all the way down, and, uh, well, a very good... There we are, 15-9 in this first set. In his uh, group matches played earlier, Ms. Bun uh, lost the first game against Yang Yang and lost the first game against It Fredrickson, Denmark, but uh, came back once he'd got the measure of the court and uh, relaxed a little bit. Started off a little shakily with... Uh, Zhong Bao putting five points on the ball without reply, but uh, then seemed to relax, came back with four points unanswered from his part, and then it was a fairly even match. 
And she's not the most predictable of men, Miss Boone. But I'm quite certain that he won't be unhappy to be a game up here. John Gobao, a steady player, Mr. Reliability. Doesn't quite have the range of shots of some of his Chinese compatriots. So here we go. Second game. Miss Boone serves. And as in the first game, hits his first shot straight into the net. But he's used that cross court smash to great effect. Signing that he's got to get on the attack a bit more. And he draws first blood. for that net shot. John Gobao trying to push it across into the backhand corner, just catching the team. John had a lot of the call there to get at the net for the kill. That's a very similar rally. He forced a mistake and no mistakes from the Chinese that time. <laughs> Pattern of this game very much like the first. Zhang Gobao going off to an early lead. It was wide on that occasion. Miss Boone nodded to the linesman as if to say, well done. on the backhand in that rally from John Goba. Wide again. Not long. Long. Started that rally with a very weak serve, never in control. Well, why there? Perhaps a loss of concentration just at the moment. He's making quite a lot of unforced errors. He's 
obviously puffing it a bit, a bit heavily as well. Game men singles, they cover a big area. Well, that's three in a row he's misjudged. I wonder if it's the drift that's uh, confusing him. Going away from us as we look at it. Well, he's looking a tired man. Is Ms. Book? Ms. Book? Yes, the way he's walking around at the moment. It it, it, it's almost as if he, he's decided to give this one up. Now she's leaving practically everything at the back of the court. A real buzz of interest in the crowd. They're not sure what's happening. Sure that John Gobao knows either. Now, I was wondering whether perhaps he's uh, Misbun has strained something in his stomach, which uh, affects his overheads. But uh, he certainly wasn't. He hasn't been oh, leaping to those yes. overheads. Well, he takes a deep breath and serves out. Ten love. Four. Yeah, the umpire repeats the call of the first game. Go no. bound does the sensible thing. Plays it tight on the net. Makes it that little bit more difficult. was John Guobao pushed it wide and uh, now is Misbun looking a little bit while well, he was going up for that we couldn't complete the uh, slow-mo well his first point One, four. yeah she played the rally at love 10 pretty well shakes his head Twelve. One. Another very loose one. Fourteen, game one. Yes, it looks to me as if he's decided to give this one up and play a decider. extraordinary turnabout only seven minutes that second game and uh, real capitulation by Misbun Sadek I wonder if he's carrying an injury he certainly hasn't uh, given any indication that anything uh, particularly is wrong other than the fact that uh, he's extremely tired one game all the players go off court for a five minute break well, here we are back. <laughs> we'll show you that uh, later. And we're underway now for the third and deciding game in this men's singles final between Misbun Sidek at the far end and John Guobao. I wonder if Misbun has managed to catch his breath. He won the first game, 15-9. He lost the second in only seven minutes. 1-15. And John gets, once again, the first points on the board. <laughs> Two, 
Lord. Just like the first two games, he gets the second point as well. Some marvellous recoveries. Five minute break can be very therapeutic. One, two. There's been with a clear up the forehand side and just stretches the net shot, forces the error. Back live. One of the longer rallies. And that's been his most potent shot. Cross court, forehand, steep smash. about to serve. Serving high. Four, two. Follows the course of the bird right to the floor. Well, is that leaping smash from Zongo Bao and directs it uh, well to Sidek's backhand. Both players off the court for a quick towel down. Five, two. Lisbon not the man he was in the first game. Court smash. Serve back with Zongo Bob. Well, you really tried to pick that off of his shoelaces, Zongo Bob, and uh, only just Three. look at oh, this angle. Me. to see how the match develops because I have seen Ms. Ben Siddick play long hard matches. Well that looks to me as though it caught the line. I don't think we're going to see it uh, from this angle. Certainly it was well outside Zong's reach. Linesman however in the best position and the decision immediately accepted by the players. Standard of behaviour in badminton, normally pretty good. I thought you were going to say not the same as tennis, Frank. That's not for me to say.
If you're finding that your normal attacking game isn't working particularly well against a good, solid defensive player, the one thing you must not do is give him easy points on unforced errors. Zongoba will be quite happy to go around at 8 4. Players change ends. And the last three points have been presented to him by errors from his opponent. Nisman now at the end, which from which he managed only one point in the previous game. difficult he is to predict. He probably played more in that one rally than he did in the whole of the second game. previous rally had uh, Misbon working more than he had in the previous game that's uh, doubly so yes this is in the crowd all around us calling that one out before uh, it had crossed the net the kind of sport where there are swings of fortune he doesn't want to fall much further behind a few points in the serve would be no bad thing there's one of them Five, nine. pushed in just a bit too close to the net there easy put away for his favourite shot. Five. Didn't seem really in position to hit it. And he probably shouldn't have done it while his opponent was serving. Five. Still plenty of spring in the legs left. John Guobao getting up well to that, putting it away. Five. 
that time, cross court smash, just out. So now, what can he do? 5.13 down. to say that his bums are spent force he certainly has looked it in the last couple of points court shot as long as a rueful look at the floor now he's a long way back the drift from from our position there it just it took it wide shaving the outside of the line anyway but uh, the drift took it out much point second time <laughs> well, he's completely a little that shot of the hit net. the tape on the way up and he cut it off beautifully There's no, I mean, one should never give up anyway, but uh, we've had such strange events in this tournament already. Morton Frost, the leader in the Grand Prix standings, suddenly withdrew with a, a torn muscle in his, in his calf. Uh, Zhao Jamwa pulling out with a back injury. As long as you stay in the game, there's all sorts of uh, opportunities or possibilities. been playing well to get the service and then playing badly. Chinese win. Song Go Bao shakes hands with the umpire. He comes through 9 15. 15 of, uh, a long, hard season through 9.